in the UFC at present, and when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And you talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing, the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the Phoenix. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. More than five years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here is Ladies Bruce and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Shanghai, China, Asa. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce, the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room? Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. is underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to strike because a Tycho, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage, but we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Attempt, they're blocked. 
I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. Just misses with the jab there. the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Beautiful strike. She throws the right hand there. here tonight and there's another one beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own so they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight big off punch land now we get back to range look at him drive his shin into the corner body with that body kick oh body kick attempt here it's no good Ooh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. Nice kick. All right, let's go. Let's Two minutes now to go in the opening round. <laughs> Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Nice head kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Nice body kick. Under a minute now to go. Oh, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Lee. 45 seconds remain in the round. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. 20 seconds left. Nice one, two there. What a punch. Oh, Roundhouse. Talk to me about that kick. He is throwing his entire body into that kick to the point that he turned all the way around before he can face his opponent again. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round one. Ooh, 
Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. He blocks the shot. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Look at the force behind that leg kick. attempt just misses. Lance to the body there. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Three minutes remain in the round. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Stop waiting. Get that high kick up there. Let's get him down. Ooh, what a punch. Was checked. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the tough. Whoa! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Punch over the top. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Oh, tags him with the left. So the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Back and forth we go here. Final seconds here of round number two. Nice leg kick lands. And that's the end of round number two. Nice 
unpredictable. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striker? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Just missed with the left there. It's beautiful punch. Sneaky head kick. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Do not back up. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Beautiful body kick. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, huge head kick. Big body kick. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. There, huge block for him. Big left hand there inside. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Try to establish that jab. 
Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. You certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Punch coming, it's blocked. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not gonna be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Lee gets caught with that punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, big head kick. Strike attempt there is blocked. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Beautiful body he lands right under the elbow. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Whips on the straight right hand. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. when that leg kick's coming. Ooh, what a punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming in tonight. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for now. Good punch. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. And he landed the right hand there. Under two minutes to go in the round. Just out of range with that right hook. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Let's go. You gotta do something. Hit it. Get in the middle. It's work. Slips 
the punch. Big leg kick land. Under a minute to go in the round. I'm trying to double up on that jab. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Nice strike. Double jab there by Lee. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing it. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Final seconds. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You're doing great, okay? I want more of the same. You are controlling the entire fight. Stay sharp, don't get relaxed. So wherever we're at, all right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one two. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Effective punch there by Lee. All right, so he's locked the strike there and now counters with the jab. So he's got the reach advantage, and he certainly made it count in that exchange. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Big kick lands. While well, the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Beautiful head kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Just unable to quite find that range. Liver kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, 
Ooh, big shot land. Head kick lands. How about that shin? Straight right hand, no good. Oh, hook to the head by Lee. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. 45 seconds remain in the round. Head kick blocked. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, he heard a battle of the jab. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Just misses with that big right hand. Right on the button. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest, 50-45. Played the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.